I'm Buck. And I'm Boost. And, and we're, we're here, here to hook you up. up. Now hit him with some truth about Buck Boost Transformers, Dan. Buck Boost Transformers are a way of making small voltage changes from the supply power to the equipment you intend to run. For example, you might have an ice maker, and your ice maker requires 208 volts, but your supply power, it's only 240. In that case, it's a small percentage difference. It might be the other way around. Your supply power is 208 volts, but your ice maker is 240. Well, what do you do? There's one of two ways you could approach this. You could use an isolation transformer like we have here, or you could use what's called a buck boost transformer. That would be this right here. This buck boost transformer, incidentally, has the same power capacity as that isolation transformer there. Now, unless you need to create a neutral or isolate distortion, there's no reason to spend more money on a much bigger, much bulkier isolation transformer. Now, since you're not feeding the entire amount of the current through the buck boost transformer, you're able to get away with a much smaller form factor, a much better price, which is why it's so common. A common question that we receive here at Temco is why the nameplate ratings on the transformer are different than our customers' intended voltage changes. The reason for this is simple. The nameplate ratings on a buck boost transformer are, in fact, its isolation transformer ratings. So what this means for this transformer is the input is 120 or 240 volts, with a secondary of 12 or 24 volts as the output. Well, if you connected it like that, you'd be using it for low voltage lighting, 12 volt or 24 volts. But if it's connected as a buck boost transformer, the connections are quite different, and the voltage change is very small. Buck boost transformers come standard in an encapsulated NEMA 3R design and are 100% copper wound. This makes them much more durable and much quieter than a standard ventilated isolation transformer. Now Dan, one of the common questions I receive is why are some of the wires small and some of the wires big in a buck boost transformer? That's a good question, Nick. The reason is actually quite simple. The small wires in the buck boost transformer are used primarily to energize the transformer and they don't actually carry the load. But the large wires, they actually carry the current of the voltage change that you come in and go out with. Another question that we receive pretty often is if you're going to use a three-phase uh, supply, what do you do for the buck boost transformers? And the answer is actually quite simple. With single phase, you use one transformer. Why don't you move that over here? But with three phase, with single phase, it's one. With three phase, you use two or three, depending on the connection arrangement that you use. Buck boost transformers are always available at distribution facilities around the United States. And they all come with a 10 to 12 year warranty, depending on which manufacturer you choose to go with. Now, if you'd like to place an order or if you have any other questions, feel free to give me a call anytime. Thanks again.